I am Levantia Shatham, and I shall bring glory to Alatain. I hope you have not forgotten our arrangement, good king. No, I have not forgotten. Very good. Then I believe there is nothing more to discuss. Indeed not. I have preparations to take care of. Yes, of course you do. Having expelled the Empire with the aid of the Alliance, the Blue Foxes return to Central Field. A coronation ceremony presided over by the new Archbishop, Hezelia Shatham, is convened, and Frederick takes the throne as King Levantia Shatham, the 12th King of Alatane. But in the shadow of the pageantry, two men face off. Andreas has confronted Iscarion. Iscarion states his intention to leave the Blue Foxes, having become unable to reconcile his beliefs with the unit's actions. However, Andreas has no intention of allowing his departure. The two stared each other down. The tension in the air could have been cut with a knife. But in the end, Andreas relents. In the moments before departing, Iscarion thanks his former leader, but cannot stop himself leaving one final warning about the path their actions may lead them down. Unable to respond, Andreas watches as his former comrade walks away, once and for all. Iscarion had long been relied upon as the unit's chief coordinator, and his departure shakes them. But then, a scout brings an urgent message. It seems the Alliance forces stationed in Dagland Trading Port have started looting in Southfield. And Frederick's reign as king threatens to have a most inauspicious opening chapter.